Hi, welcome to the very first book nook, a book club for kids from Forsyth County Public Library. My name is Miss Vicki and I'm from the Post Road Library. We wanted to give everyone a chance to share what you're reading at home and then also give you something fun to do. So every week we're going to read some different genres, different series, and then give you some book related activities to go along with it. I know we're all feeling really cooped up in the house right now. So we thought this would be a really good chance for you to share what you're reading and then share what creative things you're making with each other. I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of graphic novels and comics. And so that's what I wanted to feature this week. I know graphic novels might not always seem like the best reading material because they have so many pictures, but graphic novels are great reading practice and they can tell such vivid stories. I've had so many kids tell me that they hate reading but they love graphic novels. Well, let me tell you a little secret. If you love graphic novels, you do love reading. You just love reading something that's not your typical chapter book, and that's okay. One of the graphic novels that I've enjoyed is the Lunch Lady series by Jared Krasowska. And this is a really kind of silly, kind of weird book. It's about a lunch lady who's kind of like a secret agent, and she has to protect the school from all sorts of dangers like cyborg substitute teachers. It's got a lot of really great graphics in there if you look at the pictures. It's really fun and easy to read. And she goes on all sorts of adventures and she has the coolest gadgets, like a spatulcopter, which is a spatula that turns into a helicopter. She's got fish stick nunchucks. She's got a spork phone, lunch tray laptops, and even a scooter that shoots out sloppy joes. It's very fun very silly. And if you've ever wondered what kind of mischief your lunch ladies might be getting into when they're not serving you food at school, you can check out this book. Another graphic novel that I've really enjoyed is Phoebe and Her Unicorn by Dana Simpson. This is another really fun book. It's got, it's a humor book for sure. And it's got the cutest illustrations. If you look at all those pictures, I love illustrations like that because they're very clear and they're very easy to read. And this book is about Phoebe who is a little bit of a self-proclaimed weirdo and she's readily accepts that about herself. And Marigold Heavenly Nostrils who is a very devoted friend and a snarky unicorn and she also loves herself very much. And when I say she loves herself, well this is a unicorn who gets so mesmerized by her own beauty, she can actually get trapped in her own reflection, and then she needs Phoebe to save her. The book is full of witty humor, it can get a little sarcastic at times, and is a really great read for those older elementary and tweens. The humor and the messages are kind of reminiscent of Calvin and Hobbes, so if you enjoy that series, you might enjoy this one too. There are so many great graphic novels, comics, and manga, though, and if you have some favorites, like maybe Dogman, Spider-Man, Big Nate, whatever it might be, I would love to hear your favorites and you can share it on our Facebook or our Instagram page. So I have a really fun craft that you can make at home. You can actually make some toilet paper characters based on your favorite heroes from your graphic novels and comics. All it takes is toilet paper rolls. I know we have a lot of toilet paper at home and you got to find something to do with those toilet paper rolls. So if you have some toilet paper rolls, maybe some paper, it can be some plain paper, colored paper, whatever you have, and then you'll need some scissors, some glue, tape, and then also some coloring utensils like colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever you have, you can use for this activity. All you have to do is there's two ways of doing it. One is you can just get your plain piece of paper, fold it in half, and it's going to be roughly the size of a toilet paper roll. Wrap it around and then draw on it. I love Spider-Man, so I decided to make, to draw Spider-Man on this one. If you want to do it a little more challenging, you can actually get your different colored paper and you can cut out the shapes and glue it directly on. So I made everyone's favorite hero, Dog Man. And you, these also make really cool pencil holders. So since we're all doing school at home, you can liven up your work area 
with your superhero or graphic novel hero uh, pencil holder. You can get really creative with this and if you need some inspiration, you can just go online. If you Google toilet paper roll heroes, you can see how other people have done it and it can give you some ideas for what you can do yourself. So you can make all your favorite characters. I would love to see your fav your, the characters you made and hear about your favorite books. So you can post it on our Facebook or our Instagram page or tag us at Forsyth PL on Facebook or at Forsyth Public Library on Instagram. And remember, whenever you do anything online, make sure you stay safe and ask your adults. And we wanna stay safe by not posting our full name or pictures of ourselves. We're gonna to continue to host book nooks. And if you're looking for a good place to find some books online, you can check out our website. Go to ForsythePL.org and then go to eKids. And we have a ton of resources available for you and some good platforms for you to read those eBooks and those audiobooks. If you're a fan of graphic novels, never fear, we still have you covered. You can use Tumble Books, Overdrive, or eRead Kids. All of those have a lot of graphic novels. So you can go online, check out some graphic novels, put yourself on hold, and you can still enjoy those graphic novels even at home. They, they're gonna have some of your favorites like Geronimo Stilton, Lumberjane, The New Babysitter's Club, Ninjago, Big Nate, and even some dog man. So go, go, so get, go get yourself some graphic novels. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you join us next week for a book nook.